that the universe of the world is an effect or a product. And therefore, it satisfies the criteria that any product such as part would satisfy. Chetana Janyam Karyatvat Kumbhavadati Prasana Sunyayoho Nirasaha And therefore, like a kumbha or a part is a, a product which comes out from a conscious entity or a conscious being. So, so this universe must be a part of a conscious being. And therefore, Pradhanam, which is what we call primordial matter, cannot be the cause of the universe because a cause must necessarily hear a conscious being. Pradhanam is inert, primordial matter is inert, and therefore it could not be the first cause. Sunya, non-existence also cannot be the cause of this universe because from non-existent, something existent cannot come out. And thus, when we say Chetanam, it's a positive entity, not Sunyam, and it is not inert, not Pradhanam. So Pradhana Shunya Yoho, Karanatvena Jirasaha. That Pradhan of the Shunya cannot be Jagat Karanam, it must be Chetanam. So Nam Rupabhyam Vyakrutasya, brought to manifestation in the, as names and forms, that eliminates the possibility of Pradhana and the Shunya as Jagat Karanam. Then, second is what? Sarveshwaratvam, Aneka Kartra Bhautra Sanyuktasya, this universe which consists of aneka means countless doers and enjoyers. What does the universe consist of? The chetanas are there, the jivas are what? All the agents of action and agents of experiences. That brings about the supposedly the Sarveshwaratvam of the, the creator, you know. Because the Ishwara of all these fellows, you know, the jivas beginning from Hiranyagarbha right up to a stamba, and all of them are under control. That they are, they, are, they are able to enjoy things or they are able to do things is because there must be karma adhyaksha. There must be karma phala data. So that is how the karma adhyaksha is Sarveshwara. He is the one who presides over the functions and that is how Sarveshwaratvam, he is the, he is the, he is the lord of all this, the universe. <coughs> and says here, how anybody who is who is under control cannot be the creator. And therefore the creator must necessarily be the controller of everyone. This is how it is brought out here. Hiranyagarbhadi jiva janyatvam nirasyadi anekaiti That even such a, a one such as Hiranyagarbha, meaning Brahmaji also cannot be in a primary sense the creator of this universe because Hiranyagarbha or Brahma also himself is a creator. As he says, Yo Brahmanam Vidadati Purvam, as Ratnavarvakar himself says. So Hiranyagarbha is called Jiva. Not like you and I. Hiranyagarbha has all the knowledge and all the power, Jnana Shakti, Icha Shakti, Kriya Shakti. He is abode of all the three. And still, even Hiranyagarbha also is, is, is the first manifestation which has the potential of this universe, but potential of only one universe. From Maya or the unmanifest, any kinds of manifest, I mean, put a, any kinds of configurations could have come out. But when that avyakt or the unmanifest presents itself as a given configuration, then we have this particular universe having a given configuration. And here in Nigarbha is the potential or the thought form, the subtle form of the whole gross universe. That here in Nigarbha also is called Jiva in that sense. That here in Nigarbha also, his knowledge and his ability and his will, all of them are confined to this particular universe and not to other kinds of universes. In that sense alone, it is called jiva or a limited being. Not jiva in terms of a samsari, but jiva in terms of a limited being. That even Hiranyagarbha or Brahmaji also cannot be the creator. Hiranyagarbhadi jiva janyatvam nirasyade bhashyakara here elim- dismisses or eliminates the idea of how even Hiranyagarbha or any jiva, even such jiva as Hiranyagarbha cannot be the creator because Aneka Kartra Bhoktru, because Hiranyagarbha himself is a Kartra Bhoktru and therefore he cannot be the creator. <coughs> Says Ratna Prabha, Shraddha Vaishwanare Shtyadav Pita Putra Yoho Kartra Bhoktru Ho Bhedat Prasag Uktihi Generally speaking, the one who is a karta also is a bhokta. The one who is the agent of action must necessarily be the enjoyer also, but not necessarily. Sometimes I do something and someone else gets the result. Shraddha is a very typical ceremony. 
where putra is a karta and pita is a bhokta. That putra here does something and the pita there in the pitra loka gets the, gets the benefit. This is what we believe. And so, shraddha, the karta is one, he is not necessarily the bhokta. Therefore, aneka karta bhokta sanyukta sa. He could have Vashakara could have Anek Karta Sanyukta because normally one who is Karta must necessarily be the Bhokta. But there are exceptions. Then what? Anek Karta Bhokta. And then what is it? Vaishwanara. Another, is, another Yaga is there. Where he says, put, So Ishto Putrasya Bhokta Rutvam, Pituhu Karta Rutvam. In that Vaishwanara is the Pita who is the Karta and the benefit goes to the Putra. Thus there are cases where the karta and the bhokta can be separate. Therefore, Bhashyakara says, Aneka kartur bhoktur sanyukta sirakata. <coughs> and that shows that no jiva can be, uh, one having limited abilities cannot be the creator. Therefore, Sarveshwara, one is overlord of everyone, must always, must be the creator. That's how Sarveshwaratva is brought out here. <coughs> Nanu etavata jiva janyatva nirasaha katham. How do you say that Kartrutva, Bhoktrutva, one who possesses cannot be the creator? How do you say that Brahmaji also cannot be the creator? And therefore, say Ritna Brahakara, Yo Brahmanam Vedadhadi Purvam. Veda says, the one who first of all creates Brahmaji and then imparts a Veda, that showed Brahma or the Hiranyagarbha also is a created being. And one who is created cannot be the creator of the universe. He can be creator of something else. He cannot be the creator of the universe because he is not there before his own creation. Parameshwara Prathamam Hiranyagarbham Surjati Iti Shrutyartha Parameshwara the Lord first creates the Hiranyagarbha then imparts him the knowledge of the Vedas and then with the help of that knowledge Brahmaji creates the universe. Vishesha Jeevot Pattau Shruti Muktva Sarva Jeevot Pattau Shruti Maha Somebody may say, maybe Hiranyagarbha who is created, may not be able to create this world. But somebody, some other jiva is not created, he can create the world. So no, every jiva is created. Sarva ete atmanaha vicharandi. Like the sparks emerge from the fire, so also all these jivas, the beings, also emerge from Brahman. In short, all the jivas or all the living beings are created and therefore they do not have the ability to create the universe. And that's how... <coughs> So, Jagataha, Jeeva Janyatva Nirasat, Jagat Karanasya Ishwaratvam Prasadidam in the Bhavaha. In as much as the Jagat of the universe cannot be a product of a limited being, therefore it is created by the one who is the Lord of everything. He is the one who is controller of everything. Everyone is controlled, he is a controller. <coughs> Just a question is asked here. No, no, he says, you say that all right? No one who is created can create, but we hear that Vishwamitra, you know, Vishwamitra and such other yogis are, are known to have created, even Vishwamitra created heavens for Trishanko. And therefore, how do you say that a jiva cannot create? The answer is that Vishwamitra also can create within the framework of the existing laws. And the creative ability of Vishwamitra also is due to God. And therefore, we cannot say that Vishwamitra is primarily the creator. Through Vishwamitra alone, that same Lord creates. And therefore, even that also does not in any way violate this particular rule. <coughs> okay, now continuing the Ratna Prabha. Yo Brahmanam Vidadadi Purvam Sarva Ete Atmanaha Vicharandi Irishritya Sthula Sukshma Deho Padidhara Dwara Jivanam Karyatvena Jagan Madhya Padithvat Na Jagat Karnatvam Ittyartha When you say, somebody said, I mean, Jiva also is Anadi. How do you say Jiva is created? Jiva is also supposed to be Anadi. So, Jiva meaning the, the soul is Anadi, all right. But then Sthul and Sukshma Sharira are created because in the, in the time of Pralaya, there is no Sthul Sharira, no Sukshma Sharira which can be distinguished from one another. And therefore, at the beginning of the cycle of creation, these growth and the subtle bodies are slowly brought to manifestation as distinct upadis. In that sense we say that jivas are also created. Jiva is not created in one sense from the standpoint of the self, but jiva is created from the standpoint of upadi, and upadi alone is gained the, gains the name of Hiranyagarbha. Who is Hiranyagarbha? A given upadi, not atma. 
in that sense jivanam karyatvena so jivas or this so these uh, li, li, living beings also are called karya from the standpoint of the upadi jagan madhya paditva and therefore they are also part of this creation na jagat karanatvam ityartha and therefore no jiva can be jagat karanam <coughs> Okay, this is how Lord says that I am the survey, not Lord says, Bhashyakara says here that Lord is Sarveshwara. Look at the 10th chapter, he says I am Sarveshwara, you know. What is it? Uh, huh? Yeah, even before that. Name Vidus Suraganaha Prabhavam Namaharshaya अहम आदिर हे देवा नाम महर्षि नाम जो सर्वश है नमे प्रभा माई प्रभाव और माई प्रभाव दिस सुरगणा हा एंड महर्षि है आल्सो डू नॉट नो अहम आदिर हे देवा नाम महर्षि नाम जो सर्वश है इन एवरी वे आई एम द आदि ऑफ द कॉज ऑफ ऑल द देवदास एंड द महर्षि द नेवर दे डोंट नो माई प्रभाव अर्जुन यू मस्ट लर्न फ्रॉम मी You are at the right place as far as the knowledge of the glories are concerned. Knowledge of the glories is concerned because there is no one competent like me who can reveal the glories. Why I can go to some maharshi and learn the same thing that you are imparting me? Says no, maharshi also do not know my glory in entirety because I was there even when they were not created. So what do they know? Of what situation was there before their creation? I know it because I am ever there, and that is how Lord establishes His sarveshwaratvam also. That is also what is meant here. Then continuing, it number one, karanasya sarvagnyatvam sambhavayati. Okay, that karana or Ishwar also must be sarvagnya, must be omniscient, all knowing. And to show that pratiniyata deshikar nimitta kriya phala shreyasya jagatah. Jagat is ashraya. Jagat is the place or the location where there is kriya phalam, meaning karma phalam. Kriya phalam means karma phalam. So jagat is the ashraya or the abode where people experience the result of the various actions performed by them. Except that the result is experienced in an orderly manner. Pratinyatani meaning vyavasthitani. In an orderly manner. Deshikala nivittani yesham kriya phalanam tat ashraya sityartha. So in the universe people experience the results of various actions. As you know, in an orderly manner, where the desha, kala, and the nimitta, the time, place, and the condition in which the result of a given action is experienced, is determined. Who can determine that? The one who is what the knower. <coughs> Somebody has to know when the action was performed. See, we may have performed action so many lives before. Who knows? We are not going to explain what I am experiencing right now. What is the result? I mean, of what action is this the result? No way we can ever relate. Even though people try to conjecture and try to associate cause and effect, but you cannot be certain about it. As commonly people say, that Swami, those fellows who are dishonest, they are always rich and they are powerful and they are always in the position. How do you say that? We have no proof to say that his dishonesty necessarily has led him to this position. Then everybody who is dishonest must necessarily be a minister. Or, I mean, I suppose you. I mean, or somebody, you know. But there are any number of dishonest people, beginning from pions and and police constables, or or you and I. Why should we say police constables? Or you know, many of us. So many there are dishonest people. Not that they are in necessarily power, you know, position of power, or that they are wealthy. So you cannot say there is an invariable rule. Nor can you say that whoever is honest must necessarily suffer because there are some few honest people who are not suffering. So just because we see a few cases, we cannot bring about a vyapti or an, an invariable concomitance, you know, that this relation must necessarily exist. Yatra yatra dhuma, tatra tatra bandhi. Wherever the smoke is, the fire must be there. Can you say in an invariable manner that wherever the dishonest is, there the wealth must be? You can't say that. Or wherever. Uh, Suffering is that the fellow must be honest. You can't say that also. So these kind of invariable rules are not there. So we just make statements without really giving thought to our statements or our conclusions. So we would only have to say that the result must necessarily be appropriate to the action. 
And therefore, if the fellow seems to be happy at this time, it must be the result of some good thing he must have done in the past. And if he is wealthy or whatever it is, it must be the result of some other action and not the action that is evident at the moment. That the action performed in the present need not necessarily give rise to the result in the present. It may, can give rise to the result in the, in the future. And this is how we have to say, Pratiniyata Desha Kala Nimitta Karma Phala Shreya The Desha, the space, Kala, the time, the place, the time and the condition in which the result of an action in the experience is determined by someone. This is also our faith because nobody knows. But we imagine that the, otherwise there will be no order in the all. Pratiniyata. In the creation of the universe there is a predictability. That when you strike a ball, it will rebound, you know. That Newton can say the action, reaction is equal and opposite to the action and so forth and so on. All these various laws of the science are there. What do they show? They only show the predictability. Predictability is an expression of an order. If there is no order, there is no predictability at all. Suppose you buy a railway ticket and you do not necessarily get a seat. Even though you are assigned a certain seat, reservation is there. When you go to the station in the train, somebody else is sitting there. Then what? There is no predictability. You cannot plan that you will travel on a given day because you don't know whether you will get a seat or not. Whether you can enter the train or not. How can you plan anything? There will be no order in the life at all. And so there is a predictability that when you do a given thing that a certain result will come. Or that when you boil water it will boil at a given temperature and under certain conditions and whatever. This predictability shows that there is an order. And if there is an order, there must necessarily be an order between the karma and the karma phala also. That the result of an action also must follow a certain order. Even though we may not know that order. But then we can accept an order that is where Shraddha or the faith is. All of this is called faith. What is your faith? All of this is part of faith, you know. In as much as we have no proof. Of course, we don't call it faith in as much as it comes from the Shruti. And therefore, we call Shruti as a Pramanam and we have faith in Shruti and not in some kind of a uh, uh, some kind of a unknown entity or whatever. But the point is that we see an order in the universe. Therefore, there must be an order with reference to the relationship between the Karma and the Karma Phala. And when there is an order, there must be one to maintain the order because we know that order cannot be maintained unless there is someone to maintain the order. Powerful enough to maintain it because in India there is no order at the moment because there is nobody powerful enough to maintain the order. As they say in Bihar, there are many regions which are not under control of the government at all. They are under control of some gundas, you know. So there is no order in that state. In many states, in Uttar Pradesh, where is it? You know, where is the order? <laughs> in Uttar Pradesh, you travel from Delhi to Rishikesh. You cannot say anywhere will you be stopped. All of a sudden, somebody will disappear on, the, on, the, on your way and just stop it. Take it on the side. Show your license and show something. Show some permission. Show some document which you definitely will not have. And that is how you are held, held up there for three hours. And perhaps somebody has to pass on 100 rupees or something like that. And then you proceed. Therefore, it is not the government, but somebody else seems to control all these things, you know. Thus, when the government doesn't have that strength, then the fabric of order and law completely breaks down. But that is not the case in the universe, even though it can be maybe the case in the human society. It is not the case in the universe, and therefore we say that there must be someone who must be maintaining the order. And who must have the knowledge also of when a given phala must be, go, you know, must uh, be given for a given action. That is how he is a karma phala data. Therefore, he is sarvagnya. He is karma dhyaksha. Therefore, he is sarveshwara. He is karma phala data. Therefore, he is sarvagnya. <coughs> so, vyavasthitani deshikal nimittani yesham kriya phala nam tadashra sityartha. Then Ratna Brahma gives us the Anumanam. How we can infer also, how we can provide a supporting inference to show that the Lord must be omniscient. There are two kinds of uh, phala, I mean two kinds of uh, phala that are there. Aihikam, Kriya Phalam Dvidham, Aihikam, Amushmikam Cha. The result of an action is twofold. Either the result may come Aihikam in this life itself, Amushmikam or it can come hereafter. 
So very often of the action that we perform here, the result may come hereafter. And very often the action that we perform here, the result, come, result comes here only. Ahikam, Amosmikam. Ahikam meaning in this world, Amosmikam in the other world. And to illustrate these two kinds of results, Ratna Bravakara gives two inferences. Svargasya, Kriyafalasya, Meru Prustham Deshaha, Dehapadat Urdhum Kalaha, Uttarayana Mananadi Nimittam Cha Pratinetam. Suppose somebody has performed some virtuous actions in the life, and therefore somebody is now qualified to go to heavens. Then, of all the virtuous actions that he has performed here, where does he, how does the result come? The result comes in a given place. Where? In the Swarga. Where is that Swarga? Meru Prashtha. Whatever that is, Meru Prashtha. On the top of Mount Meru, Amaravati, you know, in, that, in the Nagari of Indra, that is called Swarga. That is where the result will be experienced, not anywhere else. So, Pratinyata Desha, that the place is controlled or determined. Kala also, not now, Deha Padat Urdhvam. That action, the, 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 the result calls heavenly pleasure, will be experienced not in this Upadhi, because this Upadhi has so many limitations that you cannot experience so many things. Our ears can only hear sound within certain frequency range. So, more subtle sounds cannot be heard, whereas in heavens they can. They might be listening to music which is, you know, which perhaps is beyond our scope. And thus, heavens, person possesses a certain kind of an upadhi, which is appropriate for experiencing those pleasures. And that way we say that these actions which bring the results of the heavenly pleasure can be experienced only after the fall of the body. And when a person dies, when he's going to heavens, when will he die? In Uttarayana usually speaking. Meaning in the northern solstice. Uttarayana maranadi. So that maranam, where will his prana go from? From one of the higher, uh, you know, the upper apertures and things like that. So this is the nimitta, meaning this is the particular condition also. Although Purnanandiya says there is no necessarily a niyama that the fellow who dies in Dakshinayana will not go to heavens or the person who dies at night will not go. Ultimately result must be in accordance with karma and not according to when and how you die. But still generally speaking when you see the death occurring in a certain way you are sure that this is how it must be. And when it occurs in a different way you wonder how it will be and whatever it is. But anyway, so desha, kala and the nimitta all of these are determined with reference to the result called Svarga. <coughs> Evam Raja Seva Palagrama Dehe Deshadi Vyavasthagnaya And similarly also, the action that we perform here, of which we, result, we gain the results here, there also. Raja Seva, suppose you are working for, a, for somebody, in a, for an employer. Then also what? The result will come at the end of the month, the paycheck will come when? At the end of the month, not every day. Or not sometime on 15, well it can happen in textile mills, you know. That there is no pratini the kala at all. When will this Swami Pataniya, when we work, when will the salary come, nobody knows. We haven't received our paycheck since four months. In textile mills and these local industries, in India I guess this rule doesn't apply, you know. That the kala at such time must be pratiniya. But generally speaking it should apply, you know. <laughs> so pratiniya the desha, pratiniya the kala, that the paycheck will come at a given day, on a given date. Paycheck will come at a given time, <coughs> morning generally 9.30 or whatever it is, you know, or before you depart. Under a given condition it will come, it will come as a check, you know, and whatever it is. So desha, kala and nimitta usually, even for the, action, the results of the action that we gain here, those results also conform to this, this general order, that the result comes in accordance with the given time, place and condition. <coughs> okay. Then says Tathacha Yatha Seva Phalam Desha Abhignyadatrikam Tatha Karma Phalam Phalatvadadi Sarvagnat Prasiddhiti Bhava. There are all the standard arguments that the Vedantins present, by the way, these are very important arguments with reference to creation. How we have trust that there is God who is omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent. How? Because of the reasoning that is advanced here. Of course, that is that our, our belief, Shraddha, is based on the Shruti, but you cannot accept Shruti just like that. 
And therefore this reason goes in order to eliminate from our mind various questions and doubts which may arise. <coughs> so the inference is given here, Tathacha, Yatha Seva Phalam, Deshad Dabhignyadatrikam. So Seva Phalam, what is the kind, what is the amount that you get at the end of the month? I hope that there is an order there also. Patani is, Swamiji, he takes 15 days a holiday and still he gets all full check, you know. Sometimes computers confuse a lot of things, you know. Like in the, the exam, SSC examination, the fellow may expect you know, 85% marks, he may kind of wind up getting 58% marks. And the fellow who did not appear in the examination will pass. And the fellow who appeared in the examination will declare, you know, as one who has not appeared. All these things can happen in our local computers, okay. But as far as the universal computer is concerned, we don't expect this kind of things to happen. And therefore, what happens in a local computer also can be traced to ultimate computer and whatever. But we say that, Seva Phalam, whenever the result comes of your service, etc., then, Desha Devignyadratrakam, that, that Phalam or the result or the paycheck or whatever is given by someone who is in knowledge of the time, place and the conditions. Tatha karma phalam, just as a result of seva etc. conform to these rules, so also any karma phalam, phalatvat, any result also, we must follow that because it is a result. And that is how the karma phaladata, the giver of the result, must be necessarily in knowledge of desha kal and nimitta, therefore he must be sarvagnya. And this is how Ishwara is karma phaladata, and therefore he is sarvagnya. He is karma adyaksha, therefore he is sarveshwara. He is a creator, therefore he is a conscious being. And finally, what must be the extent of his ability or power? That is being said, manasapya chintya rachana rupasya. What is the nature of the universe? Manasapya achintya rachana rupasya. That rachana or the mechanism of the universe is something that cannot be comprehended by any mind. Manasapya, not only can you not perceive it, but you cannot even visualize or comprehend the complexity of this universe is incomprehensible in its complexity and in its glory, in its vastness, in every way. How vast it is, how glorious it is, how complex it is, in every way it is something that is mind-boggling, you know, then in that which is beyond the comprehension of the mind. <coughs> Sarva Shaktitvam Sambhavayati, that is how Bhashyakara Sambhavayati shows the Yogyata. Sambhavana means what? Yogyata. That the Creator has yogyata, has possibility or is properly the Creator must be the Sarva Shakti, meaning He must be the Omnipotent, All-Powerful. Janmasthiri Bhangam, of such a universe, Janmasthiri Bhangam Yataha Karanat, a universe such as this, the creation, sustenance and dissolution of universe such as this is from or from which cause? Sarvagnyat, Sarva Shakti, that cause which must be omniscient and therefore conscious being. Sarva Shakti, all powerful and therefore all, all Lord. Karanat Bhavati, Tad Brahma, Tad Brahma, these words must be supplied to complete the sense of this sutra. <coughs> this is the meaning of the sutra. And obviously, this will bring up various questions by various people who have various interests. So people have their own views about Creator and they want to see those views as, as expressed by the Sutrakara and not the kind of interpretation that you give. So everyone has their own preconceived notions and accordingly they want to interpret. So there are people who want some alternate interpretations and therefore they bring up various questions which are now brought, raised and answered. <coughs> Says Ratna Prabha, Nanu Anyebi Viparinamadaya Bhavikaraha Santi di Kimidi Janma di Tiadi Padina Nagrishyandi Tatraha. Now, by the word Janma di, Janma Adi Yasyata Janma di. So, Adi Janma Stiti Bhangasya. So, Janma di, Janma is the first in which particular sequence or in which particular group of things. And thus, Janma di is interpreted as Janma Stiti Bhanga. The creation, sustenance and dissolution, these three are taken with reference to the creation. They say that in the creation, not only we find creation, in the universe, not only do we find creation, 
But we find existence, we can find continuity, we find growth, we find decay. All of these other modifications are also found. Anyebi viparinamadeha bhava vikaraha santi We find that in the universe not only these are creation, sustenance and dissolution, but there are other modifications also like decay, like growth, we find. Iti kimiti janmadi iti adipadena na grihyante How come Bhashyakara by the word janmadi interprets janma, sthiti and bhanga rather than saying janma, sthitva, what is it? Viparena, vruddhi, viparenama, pakshaya, vinasha Why not all the six vikaras be taken by janmadi instead of taking only these three? <coughs> Tatraha, in answer to that question, Bhashyakara says anyeshamiti, says Bhashya. Anyesham api bhava vikaranam trishu eva antar bhava iti janmasthitanashanam ihagrahanam Anyesham api bhava vikaranam that we know, we, we appreciate that there are other bhava vikara. Bhava means an existent entity. So we also ex- experience the modifications of different kinds, different other modifications such as growth, decay, etc. Trishu eva antar bhava. We say that in this three that we have specifically chosen here, namely creation, sustenance, and dissolution. In this three, the rest of the vikara or the modifications also should be understood to be included. <coughs> How? Vruddhi parinamayoho janmani antarbhavaha. Vruddhi meaning growth. Parinama meaning transformation or maturing. So we can say that they are, they, are, they are included in creation or in birth. When birth is there, growth also will be there, maturity also will be there. So vruddhi and the parinama, both of them are, can be understood to be included by janma or the birth. Apakshayasya nashe antarbhavaha. And when destruction takes place, there must necessarily be first a decay and then destruction. And therefore, the apaksha, the decay, which is another vikara or the modification that we find, should be understood to be included in nasha or destruction. <coughs> then, Ritna Prabhu says, there is another question, more technical question. Nanu deho jayate asti vardate viparinamate apakshiyate nashyadidi this is Nirukta, Nighantu, 111, first sutra, of the first chapter, of the first quarter. Iti yaskamani vakyam eta sutra mulam kim nasyat? Another question, you know. What is the sutra mulam? Janmad yasyata hai the sutram. What is the mulam? Where does the sutra come? What is the origination of that sutra? We said that yatova ivani bhutani jayante, that shruti, that statement of Taitriya Upanishad becomes a mulam or the source of the sutra. This is a no that yaska vakyam. So there is a text called Nirukta, Nighantu, which seems to describe, which seems to give the meaning of the various words of the Vedas. And that is composed by a sage called Yaska. And apparently the very first sutra here says, Asti Deho Jayate, talking about Deha. So, talking about Deha means a body. Jayate is born. Asti exists. Vardate grows. Viparanamate gets transformed. When a person becomes mature, there is transformation, your voice change, all sorts of things change, you know. So, Viparanamate transformed. Then, Apakshiyate, once the maturity has come at the age of 18 or 21, then Apakshiyate slowly declines. Vinashtati ultimately dies. This deha jayate asti. Sometimes asti jayate. Here it says jayate asti. Whatever that is. So is born and then is. Because you don't know that something is unless it is born. So it's asti jayate. Something cannot be born unless it is. So some people like to say asti jayate. Some people say jayate asti. Whatever. Iti yas kamani vakyam. Iti sutra mulam kim nasyat. This particular vakya or the sutra of Vyaskamuni in the Nighantu, why not say that that is a source 
or the root of this sutra janmadya syata and not your jan- yato vai mani bhutani jande why not you think there is a simple question you know it's not simple you say okay let it be then they will bring out something else so you have to be very firm and very clear about what you are what concessions you are giving and things like that because okay i am will come then you find out that wait a minute now what all it means you know it means a lot of things you know so before you make commitments <laughs> Similarly also before you grant concession, you know, all right, let it be, be happy. You can't make people happy always because then you'll be very unhappy. So, generally speaking, you can, you can make people happy up to a certain point, but you must know that you cannot make everybody happy. You cannot make on one person happy for that matter. And therefore you do as much as you can, but then you cannot all the time give concessions, you know. So suppose just to make that fellow happy, it's okay, let it be. Let the sutra, Janmadya Seda, have it mulam in, in this Yaska sutra, instead of in the Shruti. Kim Nasyad says, the Purananda, Kim Nasyad, the sutra say, Yaska Vakya Mula Katwe, Yaska Vakya Shrinam Pratipadi Tatwena, Sutra Nisht Adi Padena, Itarasham Gahidum Shakyatwad, Antar Bhao Nasti, the Shankitu Habi Praya. Says, don't say that. This vruddhi or kshaya are included in janmadi. It is not that way. Don't say there is antar bhava. We say that this sutra specifically means all the six vikaras and not necessarily imply the six vikaras. We say that when we mention three janma sthiti bhanga, it is an upalakshanam for the remaining three. It says no, it is not to be presented as an upalakshanam. We say that it actually specifically states all the six because the sutra has its source in the Yaska Sutra and not in the Upanishad. <coughs> so the Antar Bhavatvam, you need not say that in Antar Bhava, he says in a primary sense, this sutra mentions all the six vikaras. This is what the Shankitu wants to, Shankitra wants to say that. Okay. <coughs> and the Yaska, the Bhashyakara says, Yaska paripatitanantu Jayate asti Ityadina angrahane Tesham Jagadas titikale Samhavimanatwa Mulakaranat Utpatis titinashaha Jagataha Nagrahita Suhu Iti Ashankeda Tanma Shanki Iti Ya Utpatihi Brahmanaha Tatraivas Tidihi Pralayas Che Te Eva Grishyante Says Vashikara Yaska Paripatitanantu Jayate Astityadinangrahane. If you say that this sutra Janma Dyasyataha has its source or the origin in the Yaska Sutra Jayate Asti, and therefore that all the six must be mentioned as a lakshanam or whatever it is now. The question here is this sutra defines what? We say that it defines Brahma because Tad Brahma, that is Vaiti Vakya Shesha, we are supplying that, that, those words, that is Brahma. There is a Tad Jagat, suppose you want to supply something else, or some, they, they want to supply something else. Tani Mahabhutani, or whatever it is, you know. So, they want to further, that is a further question here. What is this cause? Is it Brahman that is the cause that is really. Uh, that is really uh, stated by this aphorism or something else is presented here as a cause. So Bhashyakara says that if this sutra says asti jayate vardhate etc. if all the six are taken to be the lakshana of the jagat karanam so this sutra gives us lakshanam or the definition of jagat karanam and what is that jagat karanam? See if you take the six as a lakshana or jagat karanam that someone may get confused about what the nature of Jagat Karanam is because Tesham Jagataha Sthitikale Sambhavimanatvat this is born 
is, grows, transforms, decays, dies. These modifications you find where? Jagataha sthiti kale. You find in the objects of the world. So you find that in these objects of the world which are perceptible or the gross objects of the world, which are what we call elementals. The, in, the, say in the sequence of creation, first are created what we call the Pancha Mahabhutani or the five great elements, space, air, fire, water, earth. And then those elements undergo combinations. And we have this gross universe including all the names and forms and also our body which are what we call the products of the combinations or and the transformations of those five elements. And therefore, what is it where the six-fold modifications are evident? The six-fold modifications are evident in the objects of the world. Deha jayate asti vardate. So these six modifications are evident in the deha as well as in the gross perceptible objects. And therefore, what is the cause of that? If we say that Jagat means what is perceptible and Jagat means that which is subject to the six-fold modification, if this is how we define Jagat, then what is the immediate cause of such a Jagat? They will say that those five elements are the cause of this Jagat because these are what we call the compounds, elementals, and the immediate cause of this, this manifest universe which where we find the six-fold modifications, the immediate cause is five elements and not Brahman. This is what somebody will interpret. If you say that Janmadi means all the six modifications, then in as much as the six modifications are present only in the manifest of the gross creation, therefore, Jagataha sthitikare sambhavi manatvat mula karanat utpatti sthitinasha jagato nagrahita hasihu and therefore, one would not necessarily be able to appreciate, understand that this sutra gives here the definition of mula karanam. Instead of that, one might conclude that this sutra gives us a definition of an intermediate karanam, such as Pancha Mahabhuta. And therefore, that this jagat or the universe has its creation, sustenance, dissolution from the mula karanam, that would not become clear to somebody. Iti ashanketa, and therefore somebody may think that this sutra does not really define the mula karanam as the cause of the creation, sustenance and dissolution. Then ma shanki, such a shanka or the doubt may not arise, should not arise. It is keeping that in mind. Ya utpatti hi brahmana. That utpatti or this, the creation which is from brahman. Tatraiva sthiti hi, in brahman alone the sthiti or the sustenance is tatraiva pralayascha pralaya and there itself is pralaya or the dissolution te eva grihyante and therefore that is definite here we are quite sure that utpatti sthiti and laya are definitely in brahman because that is what the shruti says the idea is that the vedantin wants to connect the sutra with the shruti vakya rather than with the yaska vakya because the shruti vakya talks about mula karanam Whereas Yaska doesn't talk about Mool Karanam, talks about only the Pancha Mahabhutaya's Karanam. And therefore, we want this Sutra to be connected to the Shruti Vakya, namely, Yato Vaimani Bhutani Jayante. Then alone this Sutra will serve as a definition of Mool Karanam, namely Brahman, rather than some intermediate Karanam. Therefore, we say that the Sutra has its source in Shruti Vakya rather than in the Yaska Vakya. <coughs> So this is what Ratna Prabha is saying here. See in the last line of page 101. Yaska Munihikila Mahabhutanam Utpannanam Sthitikale Bhautikeshu Pratyakshena Janmadishatkam Upalabhya Nirukta Vakyam Chakara The Yaska Muni, the sage Yaska Niruktam Nirukta Vakyam Chakara Yaska Muni has composed this Nirukta which, is, which gives us the, the meaning of or the definition of various the various uh, Vedic words. So this Nirukta Vakyam, this particular Vakya, Deha Jayate Asti Vardate, how did Yaska Muni arrive at this particular statement? Pratyakshena Bhautikeshu, Pratyakshena Janmadi Shatkam Upalabhya, that Yaska Muni found that Bhautika, Bhautika is not Bhuta, Bhautika is what? Modification of Bhuta. So this world is what? Modification of five elements. And Yaskamuni observed 
that all the modifications of the five elements, which is all this world including the body, that they are found to undergo the six-fold modifications. When jagataha sthiti kale, because what can we perceive? We can only perceive that which is obtainable, perceptible, and when the creation is. To us, what is in the beginning of creation is not perceptible, and to us, what is in the dissolution of creation is not perceptible, and therefore, if Yas Kamuni has written that statement, his statement can only apply to the sthiti of the jagat, and not to the creation and the dissolution of Jagat because Yas Kamuni was not present when the Jagat was created. Nor is he going to be present when the Jagat is going to be dissolved. He is present or he was present for a period of time when the Jagat was existent. And therefore, the scope of his observation was with reference to the existent entities which are all the modifications of the elements. And therefore, the Vakya that he writes pertains to what? The gross... He says, Deha Jayate Asti. So the Vakya that he writes pertains, pertains to Deha, which is Bhautika, which is elemental. And therefore, if we say that the Sutra also refers to that Vakya, then the Sutra will be... किंतु महाभूतानाम लक्षण मुक्तम दिशंका स्याद उन्हीं तो पंडिता दिशंका स्कैन भी टू एंड आई भी दिशंका विल नॉट बी बट तू डी फेलोज वो रियली थिंक एंड वांट तू प्रेस एवरी वर्ड तू इट्स द अप्रोप्रिएट मीनिंग एज इसे इट द प्रमाण अमीज इन द ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ शब्द सो शब्द हम दी तात्पर्य ऑफ दी वर्ड्स इस Determine the Tatpari of the Sutra may come to this conclusion that the Sutra corresponds to Yaska Vakya. So it gives the not Mula Karanam, but it gives what? Jagat Karanam, meaning the Karanam of the Bhautika Jagat. And so Pancha Mahabhutanam Lakshana Muktam, that the Sutra gives us the definition of Mahabhuta, which is the cause of the Bhautika world. And not Natu Brahma Lakshana Muktam, it is Shanka Asyat, Samabhut, such a Shanka or the doubt may not be there, it is keeping that in mind. ये श्रुत्र क्या जन्मादे है तेव गुरुष्यंते इत्यर्थ है। So श्रुति specifically says जन्म स्थिति एंड भंग एंड अवर ये सूत्रकारा wants to make sure that the sutra is connected with the श्रुति and not with something else and therefore says this sutra should be that is why the सूत्रकारा says here जन्म स्थिति भंग। Also भाष्यकारा interprets जन्मादे है जन्म स्थिति भंग। and not, and say that others are included, but then they do not specifically mention, are not mentioned. Yasmat Brahmana Sakashadya Jagadutpati Tatraiva Brahmaniya Chasthiti Yas Chalaya Teva Shrutyukta Haotpatya Deva Gruhyande Iti Bhashya Vakya Se Artha Hai Sutrasya Yaska Vakya Mulatva Sambhavad इतरेशाम भाविकारणाम अंतर भाव है वो चीता इति सिद्धांत ये भी प्राय है सिंधु सूत्रा कैनॉट प्रॉपर्ली बी ट्रेस टू द आस्क वाक्य देव वी सेड दैट अदर मॉडिफिकेशंस आर इंक्लूडेड एंड नॉट स्पेसिफिकली मेंशन दिस इज व्हाट द सिद्धांत ये स्टू सेम देन अ लिटिल मोर टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन ननु यास्क मनी वाक्य से आकाश आदि महाभूत निष्ठम जन्मादिशत कमी वर्त है ना बहुत गनिष्ठ जन्मादिशत कम सेस व्हाई डू यू से दैट यास्क मनी टॉक्स अबाउट द सिक्स फोर मॉडिफिकेशंस फॉर द बहुत इका वी से दैट यास्क मनी टॉक्स अबाउट सिक्स फोर मॉडिफिकेशंस इन महाभूत इन इज जायते अस्ति जायते एट्सेट्रा � since Yaskamani could not have himself perceived the creation, etc. of the Mahabhuta, Vakya Rachana Anupatte, and therefore his Vakya Rachana, Deho Jayate Asti, could not have been based on his, his actual perception. Shrutihe Vakya Simulam, so we say that even, the, even Vyaska also has composed his sutra based on a Shruti and not on his observation. You say that Yaska could not have observed the creation. He says, no, he need not have observed. His sutra also is based on the Shruti. So, Yaskavakyam also is Shruti Moolam. 
एंड न तो प्रत्यक्ष मूलम श्रुति वाक्य मूल वक्तव्य तथा चृतय प्रतिपादिकाया यथो वायम इत्यादि श्रुते तात्पर्य सारण जन्मादि षटक प्रतिपादक वाक्यम मुनिश्चकार वाक्य मूलक सूत्र से Therefore, we say that even Rag Rayas Kamani also composed the sutra based on Yato Vaimani Bhutani Jayante Das Shruti. So, his Vakya also is Shruti Mulam. Then, why don't you say that your sutra is Vakya Mulam and that Vakya is Shruti Mulam? That will be okay. It is Shruti He Tatpariya Anusarana Janma Adi Shatka Pratipadakam Vakya Munis Chakari Vakya Mulatam Sutra Se Se Atasman Na Brahma Lakshana Siddhidi Shankam Ujjivadi. Therefore, this is not the Siddhi of Brahma Lakshanam, but this is Siddhi of again. जगत कारण ऑफ पंच महाभूत ऑफ इज द सिक्स फोर मॉडिफिकेशन सार शंका मुज्जीव डोंट से दैट यास कैस कंपोज मेरली फ्रॉम इज ऑब्जर्वेशन हिज कंपोजिशन और हिज वाक्य रचना ऑल्सो इज फ्रॉम द श्रुति से इज रत्न प्रभा यदि निरुक्त श्रुति मूलम महाभूत जन्मादिक अर्थ है तरी सा श्रुति सूत्र से मूल वस्तु कि मंत्र स्मृति So Smriti Kara may be, however great, like Kapil Muni, who has composed Sangha Shastra, Kanada, etc., and the Vaisheshika, etc. Says so no. When it comes to real thing, we respect them, worship them, accommodate them, everything. But when it comes to the principle, when it comes to the Tatpare Nirana, then we have to say, okay, no, our Tatpare Nirana is not based on them; it is going to be based on Shruti. and so little bit of disrespect seems to be there in the ratna prabhakara statement with reference to yaska muni which is only arthavad because the ninda of one is for the prashamsa of the other because when you do prashamsa when you praise someone automatically there is ninda of someone rajiv gandhi was great the other fellows are not great you know suppose you want to say after is i mean everybody wants to glorify which is beautiful but then the fellows who are present they are nobody you know only at the cost of them can you glorify this one You can glorify someone at the cost of other, and similarly, so you must be very careful when you even praise somebody in presence of others. That particularly, you should be careful that in glorifying or praising someone, the people who are present may very well be hurt, or there may be an implication that they are not good enough, and whatever it is. So people have to be very careful. And of course, anyway, they are all worldly problems. They are always there when you present asanas and things like that. Who will sit there and when? So when you want to identify somebody the asana is such and such, automatically other people are not. So any what I'm saying is that when you want to glorify someone, always at the cost of someone else. This is arthavada. When you praise someone directly or indirectly, somebody else is censured. When you censure someone directly or indirectly, someone is praised. And therefore, if you find this little, it is the intention is not disrespect of the yaskamai. Intention is honoring or revering, revering the shruti. That's all. So, if the nirukta sya be shruti mula miti sya, if suppose you say that even that nirukta, that vakya, deho as jayate asti varthate, the sya be shruti mula of that vakya also the mula the source is shruti. Mahabhuta janma adikam artha hai, and therefore there jayate asti pertains to not this bhuti covered, but pertains to mahabhuta. तरी सा श्रुति सूत्र मूल वस्तु देन वी से दैट लेट द श्रुति विच बिकम द मूल ऑफ दिस दैट वाक्य इट सेल्फ बिकम द मूल ऑफ द सूत्र कि मंत्र गुणुना निरुक्त इज इन बिटवीन निरुक्त यू नो वाई शुड यू हैव टू ट्रेस द सूत्र टू दैट बेटर दैट यू ट्रेस द सूत्र टू द ओरिजिनल सोर्स इति भाव है दैट्स वॉट भाष्यकार से इज दैट तस्या तन्माशंकी या उत्पत्ति ब्रह्मण तत्र स्थिति प्रणश्य गृह्य सूत्रकार ओनली मेन हियर द जन्म स्थिति भंग एंड नॉट दर मॉडिफिकेशन इन ऑर्डर टू अवॉइड और एलिमिनेट द पॉसिबल डाउट दैट मे अराइज दैट दिस सूत्र परहैप्स डज नॉट गिव द लक्षण ऑफ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ मूल कारण बट राधर इट गिवस डेफिनेशन ऑफ पंचमहाभूता एट्सेट्रा दिस कैंड ऑफ डाउट मे अराइज 
to eliminate that doubt. Janmadi is interpreted as Janmastiti Bhangam rather than with Anantar Bhava or inclusion of the other modifications rather than specifically mentioning other modifications. <coughs> sutra Nam Sutyar Saparatvacha Shruti Mulatvamyo Yuktamiti Bhava Say Sutra must necessarily explain the Shruti. It's only proper that the Sutra is traced to a Shruti rather than to some other Vakya. Next discussion we'll take up tomorrow. Om Purnamadav Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyade Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyade Om Shanti 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 Ram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Krutau Vande Bhagavantau Punah Punah Ishvaro Guru Ratmedi Murti Veda Vibhagine Vyomavat Vyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murtaye Namaha Om Shanti 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 Om Atha Om Atha Om Atha Adyasya Yataha One One hundred Asya Jagataha Nama Rupa Bhyam Vyakratasya Aneka Kartra Bhoktra Sanyuktasya Pratinita Desha Kala Nimitta Kriya Palashrayasya Manasapya Chintya Rachana Rupasya Janmasthiti Bhangam यतः सर्वज्ञात सर्वशक्ते कारणात भवदे तद् ब्रह्मेति वाक्यशे शह अन्येशाम विभाव विकाराणा त्रिशुएव अंतर भाव इते जन्मस्तित नाशाना मिहक ग्रहणम Ayaska Paripatitanantu Jayate Astitya Dinam Grahane Tesham Jagadasthitikale Sambhavyamanatva Mulakarna Utpatisthitinasha Jagatona Grahita Siuhu Ityashankeda Tanma Shanki Iti Yaut Patir Brahmanaha Tatraivas Tidhi Pralayas Jay Ta Eva Grihyande Thus from the observation of this creation it is shown this creation which consists of these names and forms and thus that which is manifest as names and forms must have a creator who is a conscious being like a pot maker who brings into manifestation the name and form which is what we call pot in a corresponding form so what is first visualized in the mind is brought to manifestation as an object and so also this whole universe is of the nature of name and form which also is brought into manifestation in similar manner and therefore it must have been first visualized and therefore there must be a knowledge and the knowledge always is located in a conscious being and therefore the creator of this universe must be a conscious being 
not something inner like pradhanam, meaning primordial matter, or not something non-existent, not that which is non-existent like shunyam. Aneka kartra bhoktra sanyuktasya that whoever is karta or a doer or bhokta or an enjoyer is a part of creation. Aneka kartra bhoktra sanyuktasya that universe of the world which consists of the doers and enjoyers. So whoever is a doer, an agent of action and an enjoyer, however exalted that person is or that one is, is created. Including Hiranyagarbha, the very first born also is a doer and an enjoyer and therefore he also is created and therefore the creation must be from an entity who is not created himself. Standard question, if God created the world, who created God? Well, obviously, God is the one who is not created. Whoever is created is always niyamya, under control, limited. The one who creates is limitless, is not niyamya, is niyamaka. Therefore, he is Sarveshwara, meaning Lord is overlord of everyone, the creator, the mulakaranam, the, the prime, prime cause or primordial cause of the creation must necessarily be Sarveshwara, meaning the, the overlord of everyone. Pratinita desha kala nimitta kriya phalashrasya that jagat which is an ashraya and a board of all these kriya phala, karma phala where we have the regulated time, place and condition that when the result of an action is obtained it necessarily follows a certain order and we find therefore that the result of an action follows the order in terms of the time, place and conditions thus everything is orderly and therefore, that order shows there is a karma phala data or a giver of or dispenser of the karma phala. And the one who gives the karma phala must necessarily have the knowledge of karma and the phala and all the factors associated in determination of what result will there be for a given action. And that requires the knowledge of everything. In this world, to know any one thing is going to require the knowledge of everything. Just to know any one atom also is going to require the knowledge of the whole cosmos. Otherwise that knowledge will not be complete. Therefore, the Lord, who is Karma Faladata, the giver of the results of the action, in order for that Lord to know what is appropriate result for a given action, That Mulakaranam must necessarily know every factor that is involved in determination of the result. And how many factors are involved? The whole universe is involved because every action is in fact a universal phenomenon. So every action involves a whole universe. So understand that really to, to say that a given thing is such and such, or given thing is right or given thing is wrong, is going to require a person to be omniscient other than that. Nobody can say that. To say what this is, that this is such and such alone, <clears throat> or that this is right, this is wrong, this is true, this is false, to give any kind of a judgment, that this is a result appropriate to a given action, to determine this, is going to require the knowledge of every factor involved in the universe is going to require omniscience. You and I make judgments in life all right, and we have to make judgments in order to lead our life. But we must know that every judgment that we make is all, it suffers from the limitations of our knowledge. And therefore, whenever you perform an action, and whenever you have a certain expectation from an action in terms of a result, it can very be, at the most be what? A calculated risk in as much as you can never be sure of what the actual result will be. When it will be, in what conditions it will be, what it will be, cannot be determined with certainty by anyone because everyone has a limited knowledge. <coughs> therefore, the one who determines the result of an action must necessarily be omniscient. And therefore, we find here that the karma and the karma phala, they are connected with reference to the time, space and causality and conditions. Therefore, the dispenser of the karma phala must necessarily be omniscient. Manasabi achintya rachana rupasya And look at this creation. 
something that that uh, that is beyond the comprehension of the mind and therefore also we say what the the one who has created this must be also omniscient omnipotent he must be all powerful thus omniscience omnipotence all of these of the creator can be ascertained reasonably <coughs> from the very observation of the creation this is what was discussed yesterday and that from which creation such as this has its birth sustenance and dissolution that mula karanam or the prime or primordial cause is brahman <coughs> now the discussion is continued on the page 102 See Ratna Prabha in the fifth line. Yadi Jagataha Brahma Dhriktam Karanam Syat Tada Brahma Lakshana Syat Tatra Adivyaptya Dosha Syat Ataha Tan Nirasaya Lakshana Sutrena Brahma Vina Jagat Janmadikam Nasambhavadi Karanandar Asambhavadi Yukti Sutrita Someone may say Let's suppose there is a cause other than Brahman. Yadi Jagatha Brahma Atiriktam Karanam Syat. As Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Mattaf Parataram Nanyat Kinchidasti Dhananjaya. In this universe, there is nothing other than me. None other than me, nothing other than me, none better than me, superior, inferior, other than me. There is nothing. I am alone. meaning i am the sole cause of this creation and if i alone am then i am the sole one who is a creation so question is yadi brahman jagatah brahmadriktam karanam sat suppose there is a cause there is a cause of this universe other than brahman tada brahma lakshanasya tatra ati vyaptya doshasya ad meaning Brahman also is the cause of creation sustenance and dissolution of the universe and let us say something else also maya also is or pradhanam something else also is the cause of creation sustenance and dissolution and therefore if you could trace the causality of the universe to a factor to the factor more than one or factor over and above brahman then ati vyaptya dosha brahm lakshanasya ati vyaptya dosha syat then what is brahma lakshanam janmadi yatah janmad yasya yatah is brahma lakshana that brahman is that from which there is the birth sustenance and dissolution of this universe suppose there is a factor called maya to which also we can trace the birth sustenance and dissolution of the universe in that case there will be two causes and there were this particular lakshanam or definition that cause brahman is a uh, cause is that from where that is creation sustenance dissolution then this definition would apply not only to brahman but would also apply to that other factor called maya in which case this definition would be too general not restrictive enough this is called ativyapti dosha including too much <clears throat> when you say that cow is an animal with four legs then that definition animal with four legs is cow suppose you say that it will include buffaloes and donkeys and everything else that will be called ativyapti dosha the definition is too general if it is a cow is an animal with two horns in that case it will be too restricting because suppose there is a cow without horns then what then it would not include then there will be avyapti dosha meaning the definition is too restrictive <coughs> suppose a cow is an animal with six legs then there will be asambhava dosha because there is no cow with six legs as best as we know before you say something you don't know what will happen in future in this world and anything can happen but to the best of our knowledge we do not have a cow with six legs so it will be asambhava dosha three horns and things like that you know so these are the whenever you give a definition make sure that whenever you say anything make sure that these doshas are not there when we are not alert enough in making statements about things then we become too general or too restrictive or become ridiculous So, in order to be saved from these doshas, just make sure that what we say is precise. There'll be very little to say anyway. In that case, you may perhaps lose the joy of saying things. But if there has to be value for what we say, then 
there should not be this kind of doshas. Anyway, in Shastra, this doshas cannot be. And therefore, if this sutra, the second sutra, which is called Lakshana Sutra, because it gives Lakshanam or definition of Brahman, when it gives definition, if the definition suffers from a dosha such as Ativyapti dosha, meaning it includes too much, then it would not be a proper definition. Ataha tan nirasaya atirikta karnato sambhavana matra prapto yo divyapti adi dosha tan nirasaya. Then, in case someone may suspect that there is an atirvyapti dosha or that this definition is too general, then it is necessary even for the sutrakara, not only for bhashyakara, for sutrakara also it is necessary to uh, assert or necessary to categorically state that this definition is a precise definition. And therefore, tan nirasaya, that this lakshana or the definition may suffer from the defect of being too general. Lakshana sutrena brahma vina jagat janmadikam nasambhavadi iti nasambhavadi. So this sutra, janmad yasyataha, that sutra also suggests certain yuktis or reasons. Karanantar asambhavadi yukti sutrita. Karanantar asambhava. That there cannot be a cause other than Brahman. So not only do you have to say that Brahman is the cause of creation. But also it is necessary to say that there cannot be a cause other than Brahman for the creation. That also must be said. To say that I did it, you did it when 1500 other people also were involved in doing it. In that case you are not the sole doer of this. Very often when we seek the credit for something, I did it. Somebody says, I did it. You know, so in that case you are not the sole author of given thing. Here we want to say that God or Brahman is the sole author of this creation. That there is none other than them. Mama yo nirmahat brahma tasmin garbham dadham yaham sambhavas sarabhutanam tato bhavati bharata. Sarva yo nishu kaunteya murtaya sambhavanti yaha tasam brahma mahadyoni aham bija pradaf pita. Very boldly, he said that wherever there is any creation anywhere, I am the pita, I am the real father of the creator. All these fellows are instruments, vehicles through which creation takes place, but the ultimate creator anywhere at any time, I alone am. And then, he is the sole author of the creation. That also is necessary to determine. Because otherwise, see all of this is so necessary in our life, understand. That God is the sole creator. So you alone are the karta. You are the dharta. You are the harta, whatever. You are the creator. You are the sustainer. You are the dissolver. That he alone is the creator. He alone is sustainer. He alone is dissolver. And there is no one else. In which case we will not assign the authorship of whatever happens to anybody. Authorship of everything will be assigned to God. Whether the action that takes place is good or bad. Whether it is right or wrong, the author is God alone and none else. And that the people who appear to be doing those actions are merely instruments in the scheme of God to do those things. And this is necessary to ascertain. See, we think that this is merely Brahma Sutra means, you know, but the thing is that this has very great relevance to our life. When we are saying that Brahman is the creator, sustainer, dissolver, then that's all, wherever creation is, we should see Brahman there. Whenever a flower is born, whenever any creation happens, which happens everywhere, we are told, look at Brahman, he is the creator. Tatasalakshanam. Where we find even some kind of a dissolving or, or, or destruction taking place for the sake of creation, we know that again this is act of God. We find things being sustained that also the author is God. Thus to be able to appreciate the authorship of God everywhere is the purpose of this. And that there is none other than God as the author. That my father or mother or boss or whoever it is who appear to be doing things, that in the prime sense they are not doing, only in a secondary sense they are doing in as much as they are vehicles. Maya vaite nihitaf purumeva nimittamatram bhavasavya sachin. Hey Arjuna, all of these are already killed by me. And therefore, may you become nimitta, which is what you are. Not that you have to become nimitta, you are nimitta. Recognize that fact. So when we assign the sole authorship of everything to God, then we become what? Nimitta. 
and then aham karta ishwara hai bhutyavat karomi even if i think that i am doing something i know that i am doing something as a vehicle of god so all of these are great implications in our life this sutra and every sutra for that matter has implications in our life if we really translate these things the discussion that we are carrying out here not merely to settle certain arguments with some people all of these arguments can arise in the mind of any person any thinking person so today or tomorrow these doubts may arise or situations in life can create questions in our own mind how can it be this all brainwashing you know suppose you might think but is it it's all that's why enough logic is supplied here brainwashing is when you are told 100 times the same thing without any rhyme and reason then it's called brainwashing but here every reason is supplied for every statement no statement will be made without supplying adequate reason all we will say that we have no reason for it but then we are dependent upon shruti here and it is pending discovery that we have faith in a given thing and so that we can grow and that it becomes a fact of our life but nothing that the upanishad or the shruti says is unreasonable that we have to swallow it without really thinking there cannot be a thing like this <clears throat> and so karanantar asambhavat iti yukti sutrita that when this sutra presents brahman as a sole author of the creation it also presents or suggests the yukti or the reasoning that there cannot be an author other than brahman sat tarkapade vistarena bakshade so thank god that we are spared of all those yuktis at this time that is the tarkapada in the second chapter the second quarter is called tarkapada vistarena bakshade there all these yuktis the reasons will be stated in detail but you'll get a taste of it here aduna sankshepena tam darshayati we think that we are very intelligent and logical people then you have to discuss, you have to study this to find out what logic means and so anyway aduna sankshepena tam that so be prepared even in this session also just for a little taste of it okay <laughs> aduna now at this time we don't want to get too much distracted we will discuss a given thing when the right time comes but at this time also in the mind of the student certain questions may arise like how do you say that there is no creator other than brahman how do you say that brahman is a sole creator that is omniscient and then do we have to simply depend upon the shruti for that or is there any supporting logic <clears throat> or that is there some logic which can prove a cause other than brahman and so on and so forth these few questions which may arise are at the moment addressed aduna sankshepena tam darshayati tam means yukti that yukti that brahman is the only cause that there cannot be a cause other than brahman that brahman is omniscient that yukti is darshayati bhashyakara shows that yukti or the reason there is contained in that sutra which bhashyakara brings to manifestation for us na yathokta ityadina so that's on the page 102 <coughs> सूत्रिता सूत्रेण आर्थिकार्थतया प्रतिपादिता इत्यर्थ है मीनिंग दि सूत्र आल्सो एक्चुअली शोस हियर लॉजिकली लॉजिकली मींस देयर इज सजेशन हियर और इट फॉलोस इन माइंड ऑफ कोर्स इन द सूत्र दिस युक्ति इज कंटेन इन देयर सेज भाष्यकार न यथोक्त विशेषणस्य जगतः यथोक्त विशेषण मीश्वर मुक्त अन्यत प्रधाना अचेतना अणुभ्य अभासारिण वत्पत्ति संभाव शक्य you cannot show any other possibility so while the sutra presents brahman as a cause it also negates the possibility of any other cause also how these three words janmadi asya yata tells him so many things you know na yathokta vishe asya asya means what yathokta visheshana asya pratyakshaadi sannidhabitasya naam rupabhyam vyakrutasya 
ಅನೇಕ ಕರ್ತೃ ಭೋಕ್ತೃ ಸಂಯುಕ್ತ ಪ್ರತಿನಿಧ ದೇಶ ಕಾಲ ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಫಲಾಶ್ರಯ ಮನಸಾಪಿ ಅಚಿಂತ್ಯ ರಚನಾ ರೂಪ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯಥೋಕ್ತ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಜಗತ ಜಗತ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ವೆರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ವೈಲ್ ಅಗೋ ಆಫ್ ಜಗತ್ ಜಗತ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಜಗತ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಯಥೋಕ್ತ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಈಶ್ವರ ಮುಕ್ತ ಅದರ್ ದೇನ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಹೂಸ್ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಅಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಚೇತನ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವಶಕ್ತಿ and whatever else that ishwara must be sarva shakti sarva gnya sarveshwara naturally chetana other than ishwara of this characteristic ishwaram muktva anyatah utpattyadi sambhavayitum na shakyam it is not possible to show or not possible to show that anything other than ishwara such as this has a competence on yogyata to become the cause of the creation that sambhavana or possibility or yogyata cannot be shown take any other available causes and you find that none of that cause is presented by other opponents would ever be can be say can be shown to be competent or adequate to be the cause of creation what are the pradhana pradhana means primordial matter achetana which is what achetanam because it is inert anubhya from the atoms that is the vaisheshikas abhava the buddhis from non existence samsarana again the mimamsaka samsarana from a samsari or from a limited being utpattyadi sambhavayitum na shakyam it is not possible that you can show that a samsari meaning a created being or shunyam non existence or anu the atoms or pradhanam the primordial matter that this or any other can be the cause of creation that cannot be shown and that impossibility also is in indicated or implied here by the sutra <coughs> says uh, ratna prabha on the bottom of page 102 nam rupa bhyam vyakrutasya ityadinam chaturnam jagat visheshananam vyakhyana avasare pradhana shunya yo samsarana chindrasu darshitah we just discuss yesterday while explaining the meaning of the crea- the explaining the nature of the creator who will be the author of creation such as this vyakrutasya ityadinam chaturnam jagat visheshananam vyakhyana avasare at the time of discussing the nature of the creator who must be the author of a creation such as this pradhan shunya yo samsarana chindrasu darshitah the pradhan and the shunya cannot be because the jagat karana must be chetanam because nam rupa bhyam vyakrutasya just as the pot maker is a conscious being who alone can be nimitta karanam and who can bring to manifestation the unmanifest names and forms in a manifestation so also the mula karanam the cause must be also conscious being who brings to manifestation the unmanifest names and forms pradhanam which is jada or shunya which is non existence cannot satisfy this criterion and therefore they cannot be the cause samsarana yo brahmanam vidadhati purvam anek kartr bhoktr sanyuktasya who is the karta or bhokta himself is the create part of creation and therefore no samsari meaning no jiva however exalted the jiva is can be the creator so pradhana shunya and samsari their nirasah meaning that they cannot be the cause this their causality or competence to be cause was dismissed चेतनस्या भी परिच्छिन्न ज्ञान शक्ति मतो हिरण्य गर्भाद है इत्यर्थ है इवन दो हिरण्य गर्भ इस चेतन ऑल राइट एंड ज्ञानवान ऑल्सो बट देन परिच्छिन्न ज्ञान वत है इन एज मच एज इज नॉलेज इज इवन लिमिटेड इट इज लिमिटेड टू दिस कॉस्मोस अलोन शक्ति ऑल्सो लिमिटेड टू क्रिएशन ऑफ दिस कॉस्मोस सो हिरण्य गर्भ ऑल्सो कैन बी प्राइम कॉज भाष्य प्रधानात परिकल्पिता प्रधान प्रधान मीनिंग दि प्राइम ओडियल मैर विच अकॉर्डिंग टू वेदांत इज ओनली कल्पना संख्या प्रेजेंटेड एज रियालिटी फॉर द वेदांत द होल मैटर इज अ कल्पना मीनिंग इज अ प्रोजेक्शन अणुभ्य मीनिंग अचेतने अचेतना प्रधान 
अचेत ने बेह अणु बेह अणु और परमाणु विच साइंटिस्ट वुड लुक अपॉन एज अ कॉज प्राइमोर्डियल मैटर व्हेदर यू कॉल इट अणु और यू कॉल इट व्हाट एवर दैट दैट इज दिस मैटर फंडामेंटल पार्टिकल बिकम्स अ कॉज ऑफ यूनिवर्स सेस नो दैट कैन नॉट बी बिकॉज दैट आल्सो इज इनर्ट एंड इनर्ट थिंग कैन नॉट बी द कॉज अभावात मीनिंग शून्य शून्य आल्सो कैन नॉट बी द कॉज पृथ्वीमेंटल they recognize the fact that atoms are inert and therefore an inert thing cannot bring itself about into a particular configuration that when the two atoms combine to become a dvanuk and these three dvanuks can combine to become trinuk what makes these atoms to come to this particular combination and ultimately result into a universe of this particular configuration what makes them do this do these anus themselves do it they are inert and therefore they cannot do that and therefore they must be doing because of some other prerna or because of some other prom- inspiration or prompting so these atomists also accept that is ishvara who is nimitta karanam and because of the desire of the ishvara that is anus they get into motion and start this combination and that is how the universe is created So Ishvara is presented there as nimitta karanam, efficient cause, and Anuza presented as the material cause. <coughs> so says here that nanu achetanatvat paramanu nam svatah pravritti abhave bi that we accept that the anu or the atoms are inert and therefore they cannot have the activity of creation on their own account. Nimitta karanatve na anumana desiddha. सर्वज्ञेश्वर तत्प्रेरक सैत बट वी से दैट द एटम्स आर द मटीरियल कॉज एंड दैट देर मस्ट बी निमित्त कारण एंड इंटेलिजेंट कॉज बिकॉज एवरी प्रोडक्ट हैज द मटीरियल कॉज एज वेल एज एन एन एफिशियंट कॉज सो दिस यूनिवर्स ऑल्सो बींग अ क्रिएशन ऑल्सो मस्ट हैव ए निमित्त कारण और एफिशियंट कॉज एंड दैट निमित्त कारण मस्ट बी कॉन्शियस बींग एंड ऑल्सो मस्ट बी ओमनेशन दिस यू कैन अराइव एट बाई इन्फ्लुएंस दे थिंक तत्प्रेरक सैत so nimitta karanam vidishwara why not we say that he is prerakha meaning he is the one who actually prompts the these atoms to actually come into certain formations and then result into this configuration called universe why not so ratna prabha says in the second line there parmanu naam achetana naam svatah pravritti ayogat this is a okay accepted that since the atoms are inert in so all of these will enable you to understand what the scientists are doing also today and where they go wrong or where the limitations of all the scientific processes are there still a scientist is looking at matter is looking out there to to determine the cause of creation and if according to us the cause of creation is god then they are looking for god where out there in the matter which is inert and so you, that will always be a very frustrating thing you know of course it is maya and therefore there cannot be finality about whatever you whatever conclusions you come to so how they have got around to this parmanu naam achetana naam svatah pravritti yoga that is atom so the matter the fundamental particle of matter since in as, as much as it is uh, inert and therefore it cannot a pravritti or the activity of creation on its own accord नौ वेदांति से जीवात अन्य ज्ञान शून्यत्व नियमेन अनुमान सर्वज्ञ ईश्वर सिद्ध नौ जीवात अन्य ज्ञान शून्यत्व नियमेन हु इज अ कॉन्शियस बीइंग इन द वर्ल्ड जीवा वी फाइंड हु आर द कॉन्शियस बीइंग द लिमिटेड इंडिविजुअल्स आर द कॉन्शियस बीइंग्स 
we do not know of any being, any conscious being other than the jivas. And therefore, when there is no conscious being, and conscious being alone can be the locus of knowledge, he alone can be limit the karanam. And so, so, where is your Ishwara now? The question is that jiva or the conscious being, and his knowledge is limited, so he cannot be the creator of this universe. So, who is the creator? You say some other conscious being, where is other conscious being? If the Ishwara is other than jiva, then anything other than jiva is inert, understand? See, anything other than the self, yad drushyam tajjadam. So, anything other than the self is inert. Suppose you present or posit an Ishwara, who is other than jiva, then Ishwara will become what? Inert. So this sounds very, uh, what shall we say, uh, insensitive, you know, unemotional kind of a thing. Yad vachana bhyudyadam yena vaga bhyudyade tadeva brahmatvam viddi nedam yadidam upasate. <coughs> when it comes to ultimate thing, when you have, yesterday someone was asking, Swamiji, a book on Shankaracharya says that all the God that you see, all of that is mithya, Ishwara darshanam is mithya. Says, well, what Shankaracharya means to say is, if you look upon Ishwara as someone other than you, then he is inner, he is drushya. See, we are placing Ishwara in the drushya category. When you say that I had the vision of God, then God is necessarily different from you who had the vision. And therefore that God becomes a drushya, meaning of the category of that which is perceived or, or objectified. And anything that is objectified is going to be inert in as much as anything objectified has to come within the comprehension of the mind. So it has to be limited. Anything that is limited in time and place is created and therefore is inert. And therefore, if you have the vision of God who is other than you, that means that God is in the category of Jada. Anything other than the, the self is Jada. Why do they say this? There is, you see, it is not to dismiss a person who had some vision. <coughs> it's nice to have a vision, you know, I mean that shows purity of the heart and whatever. But still you have to tell him that don't stop here. It's not to dismiss that person. Or to make him frustrated that we say this. Or Vedantins may say that, you know. But the point is to tell him that this is not the ultimate thing. That ultimately God that you see in a given name and form should be seen as a very self.